Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Good afternoon. Sean Hicks coming at you. It's midday money on a Wednesday, the 10th of April. Welcome on into the show. Hope everybody's doing well this afternoon, this morning, this evening, wherever you are in the world. Hope it's a good day so far. At Mr. Sean Hicks on Twitter, come give me a follow. YouTube channels, winning free picks, and Sean Higgs YouTube. Be sure to follow both. Sean Higgs YouTube, a little more free stuff. Like tomorrow we will have day action, baseball, right? We got some uh, 1 o'clock games on tomorrow. So probably after I end the live show overall on a winning free picks page, I'll probably go live some afternoon stuff. Eh, why not? We could talk maybe in-game some nonsense when we get uh, some crazy odds. Who knows? Uh, people kind of like that. Otherwise, just come and talk. Maybe we'll uh, over some baseball cards or some nonsense. Who the hell knows? But again, follow both channels. Uh, Mr. Sean Higgs Twitter, Sean Higgs YouTube, Winner Free Picks YouTube, Winner Free Picks on Facebook. I see that we got a Facebook like. Is that our guy, Dennis O'Brien? Always hitting the like button, Dennis O'Brien. We appreciate you, Dennis, Abel, Brio, Tony K, Mike D, all the Facebook family. I'm making rhymes. I'm a poet and don't even know it. Let's uh, get into a little recap from yesterday. Late night money last night was a little early because I was annoyed with the way the uh, brave run line went down. The Yankees not punching across runs. So it wasn't a late, late show, but uh, I'll run it back tonight. Midnight, tentatively. Could be earlier. Put the notification bells on. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Let's go recap from yesterday. Day one and two in the video. Pirates run line, loser. Yankees run line, we mentioned. Kansas City, no doubter, never in doubt. Kansas City plus 110. That is now their fifth straight win for the Royals. Seven or last ten. Kind of hot right now. Uh, player probably did drop 0 and 2. Volpe, no run, no ribby. Left a couple things out there for us. Uh, Cabrera did not suit up. 0 and 2, um, but still. Or plus money, 16, 22, plus 420. Today's action. And before I get to today's action here, we will put them up on the screen for those watching. We will put the banners out in the, well, not really the banners, because that's what the banners are here. But we'll put them in the comments section. And we will tweet them out on X. We, we X'd out the place. Let's go. 21 and 19 plus 225 in the video. Cardinals. I mentioned the Cardinals yesterday. A little uh, Lance Lynn action. Sure. Sign me up for a little Lance. I'm not a big NOLA guy. Not that I love Lance Lynn, but uh, plus 120. Sure. We'll take a little Lance Lynn. Rangers on a roll line. Now, I do not like taking teams on a losing streak, and the Rangers have lost three in a row, while the A's have won three in a row. That being said, um, we I, I always use the hope in one hand and poop in another analogy, right? Let's see which one fills up first. When we hope a team wins. I don't like Ross Stripling. Uh, we think the A's are going to be a bad team. They've asserted their wins three in a row. I'm going to take Texas here on the run line. Player pops are running the back, baby. Running the back, same guys. 16 and 22 plus 420. Same, same spiel here. Volpe, Ribby plus 185. Volpe, Rum plus 125. Melky Cabrera plus 250 Ribby and a plus 155 and run. I know it's not Melky Cabrera. That's a joke. Someone asked who Cabrera was yesterday. And uh, there was a there was a Melky Cabrera comment. So we'll run Melky in there. Hockey. Yeah, three games. Two of them are huge faves. No, thank you. NBA. Ay, ay, ay. Um, did a free pick. I said I like the Heat game to go over versus the Mavericks off of a double overtime, a back to back for the Mavs. Maybe no look. It's down to 215. It was a 219 and a half. Maybe a little too much. Did I bet it? No. Uh, the season ends Sunday, folks. Oh, let's just relax. Uh, we're, we're making money in baseball here. You know, 50, 57% in baseball, I'm, I'm happy with. I'll keep it going, taking plus monies in baseball all day long. Let's uh, get to the comments. 
Somebody tell me to take the pen out yesterday. Was the pen coming out yesterday for anything? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go. Comment time. Michael Amada is in the house. Good day to you, sir. Welcome. And going with the Spanky team total of four and a half. Dodgers team total of four and a half. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You should have had uh, the Yankees yesterday. Didn't get there. I would uh, agree with these two plays. Let me real fast before I jump into the Miz next. So Yankees have won four in a row. Eight of ten. Miami's dropped two straight. One and nine in last ten. Obviously, Yankees should be a look here. Because you know I like my streaks, and we're in streaky town now. Uh, Kansas City has now won five in a row. Seven and three run. Nice start. Looking good for our over. Uh, Houston, four and six with the loss yesterday. I don't know. I, I, I said last night I kind of like Houston in this spot. It was a 115. So if you want to, again, I'm not a huge proponent of, hey, let's go against teams that are playing well and winning. Uh, but in this spot, I like I said, I like the Strohs in this spot. It is what it is. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes. It's uh, a 115 or around. You could take a Kansas City as a small little dog. Again, five in a row for them. The Twinkies have lost four straight, playing the Dodgers two in a row. And of course, we've had the Dodgers run line the other the couple last couple days. Next up, we have what the. going on what the heck what the heck um again dodgers run line seven and three overall minis lost four straight we stick with the dodgers uh team totals sure sure mentioned the a's won three in a row seattle's now dropped three straight the nats have won three in a row san fran has lost two in a row you're going to be getting some Plus money there with say with uh excuse me the Nats as well. Now we'll bring up the Miz. Uh, he goes four one yesterday. Uh, first fives today we get a little San Fran action. All right, we have a hold on one second. Had a semi sneeze coming along there. Uh, San Fran on the. First five San Fran under four. And, it's under four and a half. Okay, I was I thought that was under four and a half Baltimore, but that's Baltimore over four and a half. Cincy first five run line minus half. Texas we just mentioned Philly under eight. You're gonna go back to Colorado over. They've not gone over in those games, Miss. Michael B is in the house. King D says, "How you doing?" I'm a little annoyed last you know from yesterday with the 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 Braves and the Yanks. Braves more, I, I I would say. You know, I mean, you want the Yankees to beat up a bad team. You want anybody who you have to beat up a team that has one win. But the Brave one, come on, come on, ridiculous. Ah, uh, miss a soda over half total bases. So it's got to be one and a half for plus one thirty. It's definitely not a half a base. It's one and a half bases. It says, hey, guys, hit the like button. Yes, please hit the like button. And I did. I think I posted a poll. I think I don't even know if the polls are posted. Yeah, I, I I do polls, and then I never shut them down because I'm not on YouTube watching. I'm obviously in the uh, stream yard. So I don't even know if I have a poll posted. Sometimes I do. And I forget to even say vote in the poll. Is there a poll up here? No poll today. I thought I had a poll. No poll, one of your picks. And then we have Sean Higgs. Nobody watching on the Higgs channel. We got a poll. We got a poll on the Higgs channel. Higgs channel has a poll. So get on it. Oh, it does have some likes. All right. Anyway, Paul on Sean Higgs, you too. Jesse Schulz in the house. How about Suns after getting crushed on by Clippers last night? Looks like a hell of a letdown spot for the Clippers. Jesse, I mentioned this yesterday on the show. I said we were talking about the Clippers and the Suns. It was a seven and a half and kind of like, what do we do? We just, whoever wins this game, it'll be a blowout. Come back and take them in, in the next matchup. And here, lo and behold, we have the Suns as a favorite. As a favorite. 
That game was it was 105-92. It was 28 to 4. That game wasn't even close to being a game. The Clippers have destroyed these guys. 131-122 in January. The next time in a home and home, 138-111 Clippers. This game again, 105-92. Wasn't even that close. Do you I mean you have to right? I mean it that's almost like an auto play. I, I can't take it though. It's the the Suns to me. I don't think they're a good team. Oh, you got Kevin Durant. I mean, it, all right. You got him and Beal and Booker. You're still 40, 45 and 33. You, you're going to bet? You're, gonna, you're not betting them today. I know you. I, it's a spot, but you can't bet them, Jesse. Locking with the King caught a nice live winner on the Rays. They were tied 2-2 with the Angels. Good spot there. Michael A. also hopped on Braves team total over until it's 5.5. I agree. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. I mean, the Dodgers and the Braves team totals, if you're getting four and a half all time, sure. The Yankee team total, they're playing a bad team. I get it. But that lineup, listen, Soto's off to a good start. I mean, Volpe and Cabrera are good. Stanton, Judge, and Rizzo, 3, 4, 5, terrible. I mean, Judge is in like 160, whatever that he's hit. Hall is in the house. Yankees team total over today. Can't take another run line after the Braves crashed with that. I said, yeah, I am I understand the feeling, fella. I get it. I was there. I was suffering. That's why I came in like an hour early. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This guy get annoyed. I do. A lot of times, oh, I, you know, you're you're maybe a little newer to the chat here, and win or lose or hot cold, you just kind of I take it and roll with it because you can't get wrapped up and oh my god, you know. But some days are just like, especially when it takes you from a a little losing day. Those two games come in. It's a monster day. It, it's a monster day for me. You know, three and three and five turns into five and one or something. You know, it's like ridiculous. It's a frustrating to say the least. There's a Sean Higgs. There's winning free picks, and there is Facebook. Come follow them all. Does it cost you anything to follow? Or hit the like button. You cheap SOPs. Just hit the like button. Asuna and Abi's top two hitters to play. I agree. Ozzy Abi's is a guy I get a lot of review props patented. Um, I stayed away from the Braves today, though, just because um, I don't know. I, I do like Katana. Do I think he holds them down here? No, I just I went I went with the Yanks versus a, a team I think is worse than the Mets, believe it or not. I mean, I, I'm not high on the Mets at all. At least they have some offense. You saw them last night rally for five late. Now they get a Allen Winans, whoever that is. Again, I'm, you know, we're, we're, we're card, you know, he's maybe a young guy. I don't even know anything about him. Uh, it's just a spot I don't want to jump on to brave hitters. Although, Albi, Ozzy Albies, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I like him. Um, Michael B says, a 4 0 night with the Heat Thunder Royals. Someone asked me, I say, of letting my fandom cloud my judgment more, or smack those wigs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know who someone else is. I know I did, and I said, why do you want to take that spot? And I'll say it again. But also, this is why I'm not betting NBA. Who, who do we have? Like, you start getting um, spots for the Lakers with this nonsense, like oh, LeBron James might play. AD might play. I mean, then guys are out. Like, was I expecting AD to sit out? Was I expecting LeBron to play a good game? You know, I just – you expect different things to happen. Again, this is at noon and not at game time. I'm not a – they got a good win. Do I think they get out of the playing spot? I mean, maybe. Where are they going this year? Where are they going? And you know I'm no Laker backer. I got over I got over the Yanks train 20 base runners. 20 base runners, and I think they had like half of those with like two outs. They had guys in scoring position. Can't even not get a run in. Yeah, they better have a better performance today. And again, I'm not high on the Yanks. I think the Yanks still go under the win total. Yeah, Redone's pitched well. Cortez has pitched well. I've seen this before for Cortez. I, I don't know really what to expect. I mean, he had a good year and a bad year. Redone went healthy. Hey, the guy's, the guy's a stud. Sure. Sure, but what else do we have here on the staff? 
Louis Gill and Clark Schmidt. We'll see. Uh, offensive wise, Rizzo, Stanton, two guys I don't like. Judge is struggling right now. You'd expect him to go on a hot streak and get up to the two eight. You know, he played to the card as as well. But this isn't a super lineup. I'm not super lineup. Verdugo hasn't done nothing. Uh, Patton says San Fran under the eight versus the Natty. Stroh's under KC nine. I don't hate either of those. Although the San Fran one, you almost want to play the over the way the Natties are, are hitting them, putting some runs on the board here. And it's Patrick Corbin, too, by the way. Uh, Michael B. Today, I got to come back on Suns' first half. At, uh, first half minus half a full game minus two. Suns are 0 3 versus the Clippers. They lost the first quarter by the hardest run in franchise history. They dropped into the playing game. Yeah. Well, this is the best. I, I love, like I said, between Curry, LeBron, and KD. They should just have a round robin of guys who are supposed to be super Hall of Famers that can't can't get their teams in the playoffs or are the the last teams into the playoffs. I don't know. Maybe the Clippers just own them. Can that can that be part of it? Or how about the Suns aren't good? Suns are good beating up bad teams. Michael B. Sorry that Suns first quarter is a, a first quarter half full game minus two, not the first half minus a half. I got you, Mike. I I don't want to bet the Suns. Even after getting embarrassed. Miss, as Holiday brought up, wearing dad's number seven. The old Jackson Holiday. Let's get the old Jackson Holiday cards out and start selling them before uh, before they're worth nothing. Uh, Pat says, Rays beat the Rangers. Rangers are so many guys on base. They were their own worst enemy. Stripper last start at Boston. Got lucky. Boston have 10 guys on base. I agree. I think the Rangers get right here. And again, this is an A's team that's not particularly good. You have a bad game by Texas, right? I mean, you're going to have them. Do you want to see them versus bad teams? This is where you want to kind of like chalk up a bunch of wins. But uh, I think the Rangers bounce back. That's why we got them run line today. College baseball from the player prop king. He likes Vatek and ECU. Even money. Tim Rowe will be happy with that ECU pick. G and Carlo plus 350 for a homer. He looks, he looks all right. He, you know... He lost a little weight. We'll see what we get out of him. 350, I think, is worth it again, especially some Marlins. Pat says, let me some Bobby Miller over 6.5 Ks. A versus the Twins are averaging 9 Ks per game versus righties. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I, I'd go with that. The Twins, even last year, the Twins were a strikeout squad. But yeah, 9 Ks versus righties. How many innings is Bobby Miller going, though? You know, is he getting two an inning when he goes five? Michael B. Uh, I'll be taking early morning dogs, St. Louis, and the Twinkies, hoping for the split. I'm with you on the cards. Twins, though, I'm not a, not a lover of the Twins. Davis says, let's go Philadelphia. Trust Nola versus Lance Lynn. Davis is like a Nola. I'm on the other side, Davis. I know, you, I know you're not going to be happy. The old fade Sean Higgs, he likes Lance Lynn. We'll see what happens with that. I just, um, Nola to me, this is not good. Look at the look at Aaron Nola's numbers. Go ahead, I'll give you a second. Go ahead. Glad you looked. His last good year was 2018, 17 and six at 237 ERA. Since then, 12 and seven, five and five, nine and nine. Obviously, he had the COVID year and there, 12 starts, 32, um, 11 and 13, 12 and nine. Uh, you're striking out guys, and even as much as I love, oh, he strikes out more than the guy in inning this and that. You're playing in a time where guys strike out 150 times and think nothing of it. Best days clearly behind him. And again, I don't love Lance Lynn. It's not like it's like, oh, Lance Lynn, the guy's fabulous. Um, seven and two for the Dodgers last year. Again, it was the Dodgers. He was six and nine with the White Sox with a six ERA. Before that, though, we had a 399 ERA with the Sox. 289 ERA with the Sox before that, the year before. Again, injury prone for sure. Twenty, you know, 21 starts, 28 starts, 13 in, in the COVID year, six and three, 332. 33 for Texas, 16 11, 367. Minnesota, bad year for many, seven and eight, 510 ERA. He was three and two with the Yanks, um, starting in his nine starts there with a 414 ERA. And and again, the St. Louis years, 18 and 7, 15 and 10, 15 and 10. 
they're not terrible. I mean, even when he's he's had that bad year, I think we we go to the Lance Lynn of the White Sox where he had a, a ERA of six and a half. I don't mind a four low four ERA from a guy who's thirty seven. And and the Philly is not hitting. And again, Nola's had one good year. Six years ago. Seattle's the number one K team facing Kikuchi today. Again, another I don't mind going under here. I like Logan Gilbert. I think he'll keep the the, the Jays in check. And we had the Jays under in game one. We didn't do anything yesterday. Um, again, you want to take an under in this game? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Player props coming in with Paddock under four and a half Ks for Minnesota. Sure. Zach Littell over Ks against the Angels. I will say okay to that. Yes. Marcus Stroman over four and a half Ks versus the Miami Marlins. Okay, minus 135, whatever. I'll okay that one. Marlins are bad. The lineup looks terrible. It is terrible right now. Kenny said, no, it's only April, but I put a unit on the Brewers to win the NL Central plus for 50, liking what I see right now from him. Worth a shot. I think anybody can win the Central. Who's going to do something to really put the team over the top? Red's got a bunch of young guys. We'll see how that happens. Cardinals got a bunch of older guys. We'll see how that works out. Pirates got a bunch of young guys. Cubby's got a little mix of guys. No pitching. And then you have the Brewers. I like I like Freilich. I like um, Churio. Where's the rest of the bats? Yellick? Rowdy, Rowdy Tells? I don't know. 450, why not? Agree with you, NBA. No betting allowed. You can't see the NBA right now. Bobby Miller under 6.5Ks is minus 120. Well, as uh, Anthony Pounder pointed out, Twins strike out a lot. But again, how how many innings is this guy going? He's got to get a guy in inning because he might go five plus, you know, like five plus have six Ks and you're you're out the door. Five innings, five hits, one run, six Ks, ninety four pitches. Good night. Terrible. Pounder says King D is between the Cubbies and the Brewers. The Reds have no pitching. Stop it. Come on. We got Hunter. We got Ashcraft. We got Abbott. We got some young pitchers over there. We're going to bring back Homer Baylor and Tyler Molly. Be fabulous for the Reds. Jose Rijo. Has his Pirates. It's Pirates every day. They start off hot. They do. Again, you roll out Marco Gonzalez. Where's Ronzi? Ronzi Contreras. Where's Ronzi at? <laughs> uh, Tooch is in the house. I have the Pirates win total over. All right. It's a big ball-y bet. King D says, yeah, Pirates start out hot. He agrees with you. 450 is worth a shot. I agree. I agree. Here's a Facebook friend. Brio's in the house. The miss says, take the Brave games over. They hit but have no pitching. Yeah, Brave game overs. The pitching is just not there. They're going to have some – they've had – and I said this when, uh, again, with Snell. Like, how aren't you going after Snell or Monty, these teams? You're all in anyway. Go for it. Worst case, if something happens, your team falls apart, you could trade them. Trade them at the deadline to somebody whose team didn't fall apart. Alan Winans? You should be asking the Mets, like, hey, man, can, can Katana stay here after you guys leave? Uh, we'll take him. Nine and a half for this total, too, by the way. Pat says, Bronny James entering the draft. Yeah, where's Second rounder. Player props I see Jackson Holiday debut. We'll see how that works out. Pound it says going one unit for the Brew Crew plus 450. Michael Amato says Giants team total over four and a half versus Corbin. It is Corbin. But I mean, how'd the, how'd, the, how'd the Giants look right now? They've dropped a couple. We got the Natties. The hot Natties. Do you want, I mean, 5 3 loser. A1 loser. And let's forget about those two. Three runs and one run. A 3-2 win for them. Zero runs. A 3-2 win against the Dodgers. 4-4-3. And then there's the, you know, we'll go back to March, but let's just, let's just go to the recent stretch here of uh, scoring four runs um, twice in the last eight games. I mean, let's just pick a better under three in all, in all but two games. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't, I don't want to really 
run to the Giants team total over, even though it's against a bad pitcher. Bronny's terrible. Yes. Now, I'm not a LeBron guy or a Bronny guy. I'll give him I'll give him a little bit of a pass for having a heart attack and you know his dad pumping up with steroids and guy almost dropping dead on the court. So I'll give him a little pass. That being said, um you got to go for the NBA drafts. Get ready for you know being undrafted. I don't think anybody's taking. He's definitely not going to take the first round. And and if I'm taking him, I'm taking him just to spite his dad, because dad wants to play with him. Like like they, they, I'm sure there's some unwritten code like the Lakers will sign him as a free agent or some nonsense. Some teams should be like, now nah, we'll take him and just put him on a bench and never play him. No. Go back to school. I get it. It's you know. That kid will never have to worry about money being LeBron's son. But if he really wants to play basketball, uh, stay in school. Stay in school. And get drafted. A little better spot. What do you say, Marcos? didn't like button for you and MD. Oh, Mr. Mr. Nick has not been in here in a good six months. Marcos, we did a Marcos minute already. Didn't we do the Marcos minute already? No Marcos Minute. Was that last night? I don't remember Marcos. Definitely no Marcos Minute. There's there's three hockey games, two with big spreads, and NBA is a pass. Kitty says, bro, needs to stay in college another year. Yes. Bro, my. Instead of Bronny. There it is. Oh, Bronny. There it is. <laughs> yes. He should. I mean, if he really wants to play with his dad, that's one thing. If you want to be your own man, stay in school, get a little better, and get drafted. And maybe maybe you got to stay in school more than one year. Maybe you got to stay three years to get better. I you know I know it's not cool to do that because you think everybody thinks they're the next LeBron or Kobe or Shaq or whoever the hell they want to be. How about you stay in school till you're good enough to to stand on your own two feet? Nick's hitting the like button. Manuel Marquez here. Rangers today to break out of their losing streak and or to break the A's three game winning streak. I should say. Michael B says, I'm not the loser. I don't think the Warriors can win a title, but if they can make it out of the playing game, they're not the face of Nuggets. I think they can win a series. Well, they'll win a series because they'll beat whoever they beat in the playing game. So that's it. They're going to hang a fake playing game banner. Michael, I looked up Lance Lynn. K props over five and a half. No, thank you. You can lose and get bombed by the third inning. Yeah, I'm not doing a K prop on Lance Lynn. I'm just saying, Phillies haven't hit. I don't like Aaron Nola. I'll take a Cardinals at plus 120 at home. Michael, I was curious, but I am out. Yeah, don't, no, 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 no K-prop there on Lance Lee. No, thank you. Nick says, he's on the Mariners my line today with Gilbert. I like Gilbert, sure. Braves under and under Braves, really? Okay. Rockies over. I mean, not sure why we're running to a Rockies over. Three, two, seven, what do we got here? Three to two, seven to five, three to two. I mean, 6 8 10 7. Remember that game was the one game, the 10 7 game had 15 runs scored in the, the ninth inning. So that's even what I'm not looking to do. I mean, you take that game out, they've gone under in like all these games, basically. Not all of them, but a bunch of them at home. I didn't finish out here. Oh, my God. Uh, over Royales against the Strohs. And Milwaukee. I see, I would, I would stick to the under in that Stroh series. Moneyline sucks. You like Boston with a little bellow action here. Oh, no, it's Cutter Crawford today. Yeah, Cole Orvin on the hill. Sure. Okay, I don't hate that one. Bobby Miller over Cage is minus 105. The under is now 125. Makes sense. Makes sense. Because they'll strike out six and five and be out of there. This has last night another great warrior victory over the Lakers. Ten bucks. Almost bet the under 236. Glad that I didn't. The Lakers, I got team money doesn't even come in to face the music about his horrible Lakers. Where is team money? How about the Pirates fan Boone or All-Star closer for Dar for blowing to save terrible fans? No, I mean, um, I'd be a little upset, and I am a little upset, as, as I should. If you had the uh, Pirates on the run line and you're up 3-1, to one, yeah, come on. What is that about? I'm up through. I, I'm here complaining about the Braves blowing a, a five runs in the eighth and ninth, and the Yanks not scoring a run. Here's another game. I could have swept the board yesterday. I mean, the, the White Sox would have been a loser with the run line. Everything. I mean, I, I forgot all about them 
blowing a allowing four runs in the top of the ninth. Hey, it should have went. That should have went seven to one yesterday. Found it. Orioles team total over versus Cutter. Uh, Natty's for the sweep. Yes. No way they could sweep, right? How could that happen? The Nats can't sweep. They're bad. I love Corbin in a couple bad years, but last year did okay. Just no offense. This year he's fine. Don't see. I, I'm with you on the Nats. You know I like the Nats offense. I needed to hit a little bit. They made trades. They got a bunch of young guys. Time to produce prospects. Mike Bay, I would not be betting nine team total over against Corbin. They're not hitting right now. Hicks is look good, but the pass. I've seen a lot of people betting the Natties today. Stay away. It's a again. They are getting a big chunk here, right? And they have won three in a row. Giants have lost two straight. They are three and seven in their last ten. You wanna you wanna lay two dollars with the Giants the way they're playing? No, you take the Nats just on principle. This is, a, and again, baseball such a long season. You take the Nationals because you're getting a 175, 180, whatever you're going to get, big plus money. Team's playing better. If it loses, it loses. You want to bet on San Fran who's playing like garbage and say, oh, yeah, they're they're going to win tonight. They have to. They can't lose to the Nats again. And and then you have to win three games to make up for this 210 loser. Take the Nats. Note, note to people who bet, you're going to lose a game. Lose a plus 180 game. Like we says, I don't know why, don't know why Brian's going to the NBA. He's making more money off nil. Uh, I want to say he's the highest paid player in college sports this year. Yeah, I mean, I get it. The whole thing is he wants to play with his dad. That's why he went to LA. His son was going to USC. Let's go Lakers. All that nonsense. But on the same token, the guy's not getting drafted. Like, that's fine. If you're happy, it's like Michael Jordan's kids. Like you're you're a kid behind. A, a great player, an awesome player, a Hall of Fame legendary player, you'll never be that guy. Ever. Um, do you want to just make a name for yourself? Stay in school, get better. Do you want to just ride the family name and go play with them and do some nonsense and be out of league in three years? Or some team's going to have to – the Lakers are going to keep him on until his younger brother comes up and they have to play together because your dad's a part owner of a team or some nonsense? I don't get it. Detroit Lenny's in the house. He likes the Yankees run line today. I agree there. Rangers run line to get it back. Two teams. Oh, thank me later. That's great. Here comes an 0-2 day from Detroit Lenny. Detroit Lenny. Thank me later. This This guy. This guy comes into my show with a thank me later. In Texas, run line. Thank me later. Michael A. Yeah, the trail is in the house throwing out losers. Bandit Sports. Brian needs to go back to school and go to Duquesne type school where he can play and try to stand out. No big school with top prospects. Agree. Yeah, let's go to a smaller school. It's all right. Lance Lynn's a bum. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes Mr. Detroit guy. Guy, his team comes back and pulls out a miracle come from a high win, and all of a sudden he wants to come into the chat today. It's hard for some people who are spoon fed to get hungry and go get it. I agree. But um it's like any player. I say this all the time, King D. You've been here long enough. We talk about the, these guys in college. They have all these voices around them. Oh, you're the uh, NBA, you know, people telling you this since the time you're a sophomore in high school or even younger. And then you go to the NBA and you're a nobody. Okay, good. You get paid for a couple of years to do not, I mean, how many how many guys are scrubs in the NBA? How, I mean, they maybe be all stars if they stay in school next year. And now you're getting no money. Stay in school. Be the king of the campus instead of being the, the eighth guy on a bench. You're going to go to the NBA anyway. Get paid and have fun while you can. Be the king because there's only one king in the NBA. Right? I mean, maybe you got like five guys who could run it, but you're not that guy. Probably should just head to Europe now because that's where he's headed. Detroit Lenny with his first smart take in the, of the chat today. Heat money line. I like it. KD says, growing up, sometimes you didn't have lights because that far guys probably. <laughs> that's my testimony today. <laughs> you didn't have lights. Hey, listen. I had lights. Um, the back of my car didn't have a floor in it when I was driving. You know, we had a little uh, buggy Volkswagen Beetle. We had a piece of wood over the back floor. Yeah. Crazy. We had lights. I had pickle sandwiches. 
but <laughs> the lights were on. No cable for a while. It's a principal matter. You have to take the Nationals. Agreed, Lenny. Yes. Can't lay two dollars with a team that's losing. I think it's right to just go back to school and get his timing speed down for college. Remember the times that Frantic got there, the game was too fast for him. I agree. And also, uh, yeah, you had a heart attack in November or whatever. Cardiac issue. Uh, okay, we'll get technical. Stay in school. Get a little better. Get a little better. Nobody's going to hate you for it. Your dad's freaking LeBron James. I'm going to get mad that you're not LeBron James. There's only one LeBron James. There's one Kobe. There's one Jordan. There's one Carl Malone, whoever. Insert any guy. One Wemby, one Sean Bradley, whatever. There's the, Everybody's one of one. Stay in school. You know, he's going to go. He, he Well, he entered the draft, but if he gets drafted, it's going to be like the last pick of the draft by somebody. Or the Lakers get to. It's a, he's not getting drafted in the first round. That team will be mocked. A first-round pick is supposed to go right into the rotation or even a starter. You like that, Detroit Lenny? First comment of the day? Tigers were online, never in doubt yesterday, yes. Yeah, to thank me later, pound it to Sky. The first we said, Bronny can become a Shannon Brown two-point. I don't even know who Shannon Brown is. Plus, Donald Addy loves to thank me later. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yes. Uh, Brian Nunn has has thoughts on Rays Angels under the nine. Um, I, you know, honestly, I didn't even look at a total in this matchup here with with Latell and Soriano. I, how about we just take the first place Angels as a as a little uh, plus money? What are they plus one hundred one? First place Angels in the way. Who had the Angels in first place out here in the AL West at any time during the season? Can you sign from East Oakland? Project so I went to live with my father in Indiana, the Oak Town. I've never been to Cali. Never been to Cali. Detroit landing straight spam and Higgs chat. I mean, seriously, right? With this not that where's the block button? <laughs> Thoughts on the Dodgers game? I like the Dodgers run line. Um only way I can look at that game. Dodger team total. I don't want anything to do with the twins. Twins can't score. I said this yesterday. They scored two runs, one run, one run, zero run, zero run. They had a, they had a random seven spot. Otherwise, they're not scoring runs. I don't want to take them. The Dodgers team total, Dodgers run line. That's a combination. Not spam Higgs is best show on here. No, but you're, no, he. I think he's talking about when you're coming in here with the thank me later nonsense there, Detroit Lenny. <laughs> thank me later. Team total is so juice, shake my head four. Well, listen, take the four and a half because it's going to be five and a half soon enough, and you're going to be like, oh, five and a half. I should have took it when it's four and a half minus 120. No, the 120 is not bad. I know there's people out there like, oh, you never lay that kind of stuff. I, you know, I don't understand. For me, um, with the new books coming out, everything's like 115s, 120s. You'll never get 105. I mean, even 105s are rare. Just basically 110 back in the days are gone. People will say don't lay 120 or 115 when you can lay. I, I don't get that because the same people who say don't lay 120 are the same people who say that there's value on something that's 230 if you think it's 280 or minus 5,000 if you think it should be minus 8,000. Or well, you know, I, I mean, it's it's five ten cents and you don't really have much of a, a choice nowadays. You know. uh, Shannon Brown from Michigan State went and played a few seasons with Kobe and the Lakers. He was very athletic and a real good ball player. He didn't put in the work like he could have. I don't even know what that is. How many guys are like that? I mean, let's just go. Let's just pull up the drafts for the last couple of years and go through guys who are busts. Come out thinking because you got some guy in their ear. Bro, come out, come out, come out. You're going to be great. You're going to be great. How many guys have they stayed in school for three years instead of one? Or four years instead of one? Learn how to shoot a free throw. Learn how to shoot a 15-foot jump shot. You wonder why the Europeans come here and pee all over them, these college kids, because they know how to pass and shoot and dribble and do all this stuff, as opposed to just, hey, I'm at half court, I'm going to fire up a three and not play defense. Brandon's in the house. Good morning, Brandon. Good to see you. I was going to head on out, but Brandon's here. Kindy's laughing. He's laughing at me. Brandon, the floor is yours. Because I haven't seen you in a bit. Hope you are well. No more comments from Davis. Where's Davis? I thought Davis would come in. He said hello. 
He liked the game. I thought there'd be some more college baseball. Can coach talent? No. Yes, peel over. They do. It's the truth. Can't tell. European guys are, are are much better. Defense, dribbling, shooting. Kids of college today, they want to fire up 35 footers. They want to dunk. Handful of guys get free throws. No one's got a 16 foot, 12 foot jump shot. It's a terrible game. Stop Geo's in the house. Any thoughts for the Strohs, Kansas City before I head out? Um, I like the Strohs. Now, Kansas City's won with five in a row, seven to ten. Kansas City's hot. Huge win. Right? Nice, nice win last night. Walk it off in the tenth. I do like the Strohs in this spot, though. They were coming off the big series with Case with uh, Texas. Dropped it late yesterday. Had ample opportunities. I was worried. I was like, oh my goodness. T Money's harassing me in my in my Twitter. Like, oh, how do you take the Royals against Astros? You're crazy. Somehow we we minimized the damage, pulled out a win there. Uh, I think it I think it reverts back. I think you, you can't keep that lineup. And it is Houston has a good lineup. Uh they're starting to hit a little bit more. Pitching is the problem, I think, for the Stroves. They're, they need some pitching. With Framber gone. I like Brown, France. They're two young guys. You're going to be good for half a year, and then what? Where's the rest of this team? Javi, you like Javier? Verlander? No McCullers? No Uquiddy? Should have signed Monty. No excuse not signing Monty. Spanky's team total today? Yes. I mean, they should have got it yesterday. They couldn't break it open. Leave 20 guys on base. Ridiculous. Get right in for the shows. Team totals look. Yeah, I wouldn't hate the team total here. I don't hate the team total here uh, with Houston. I mean, Seth Lugo, again, I don't like the yo-yo guy. I'm a starter. I'm a reliever. I'm a starter. We're going to put you back in here. I'm, I'm not loving that. I think Hunter Brown's a um, – oh, hold on a second. What day am I on here? Hold on. There's no Hunter Brown today? Who's pitching today? Spencer Arigati? Did we have a pitching change in this matchup? Why did I thought it was Hunter Brown on the hill today? Oh, what happened here? This guy was not scheduled. The, this rookie was not scheduled last night. This is not who they had on the thing yesterday. Uh, I'm already locked in on Houston, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the stuff I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. He was uh, he was not listed yesterday. Was he listed yesterday? T-Money Sports Rats. <laughs> Yeah, he was coming in. T Money was like, "Oh, he has." You know, I love T Money. How could I not? How could I not? Big Laker guy. Rockets got it done yesterday. They sure did. Rockets, nice win for them. Now, a nice little season for the Rockets, I guess. Right? They weren't really expecting much. They're supposed to be a bad team. Uh, no way they could. Uh, what are they? Are they? They're not in the playing, right? It's only ten teams. They're they're definitely not making that play-in game, but um, decent season for them. Could have been worse. So here we go. Now the trailer, and he really wants to get me cranked out. Brown per time period. Hunter Brown. Yeah, but he's not. I thought he was supposed to pitch today. Did he pitch yesterday? Nay, see now I'm confused. This is what happens. I do like my late show, and. I'm backed up into who I think is pitching. No, Hunter. I thought Hunter Brown was scheduled for today because Javier pitched yesterday. I'm not crazy. Am I crazy? I'm not crazy. Hunter Brown was scheduled to pitch today. I know he was. There goes my Houston under. I, you know, I... This... I, I, Please, somebody in the chat, tell me that I'm not wrong. We're supposed to be Hunter Brown today. Who did they send down? Who did they send down? What is happening? 
<sighs> I'm totally confused. Anyway. Um, yes, but not about this. I don't know what the trade line is talking about right now. I'm behind in the, uh, the comments come up after the fact. We just know he likes Seth Lugo for whatever reason. Cardinals early action today. That game goes shortly, if not even underway already. Rangers on a run line. Yankee props. Volpe run, Volpe ribby. Cabrera run, Cabrera ribby. All plus monies. Nothing in the ice. Nothing in the NBA. Is Hunter Brown pitching today? It's, But it doesn't say that because MLB.com got Arrighetti pitching today. So I don't even know. I hopped on a streams team total over versus Seth Lugo. Now I got to go to Rotowire. See what Rotowire has because now I'm seeing... Yeah. Arigetti's on the hill. Well, he's not pitching now. No one around. Uh, can you have a good one? Be blessed as well, Kindy. See you later. Have a good day. Nick Nancy says, I'm on it. Michael B's out here. Have a good one. Adding the magic on the money line today. I don't hate that. They need a big win. Take the magic today. Pound it, says Brown. That's why I was going under the nine. I agreed. Yes, you are crazy, but not about Brown was listed yesterday. Okay, thank you. Cash it out of my Brown versus Lugo. Yeah. Well, listen, if you had a total and had listed pitchers, it's automatically going to get cleaned anyway because it's a pitching change. So your bet will be voided if the pitching matchup is different. Most sites do that. I don't know. All right. Uh, late night money tonight. Put the notification bells on. Sean Higgs YouTube, Winner Free Picks YouTube, Twitter. I'm Mr. Sean Higgs. Come say hello later on tonight. We could talk about Hunter Brown not pitching if – the Royals win and uh, end up catch, kick, uh, blah, blah, blah. they end up cashing and beating the Strohs. Good luck today.